Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment of our program brought to you by Southeast Termite and Pest Control. They do a tremendous job. Protect your property, protect your health. Let Southeast Termite and Pest Control do for you what they do for me and thousands of others across East Tennessee. Get a free estimate for your home or business. Southeast Termite and Pest Control. I want to welcome in the next member of our panelists, former Division I basketball player, former Vol assistant under Bruce Pearl and Conzo Martin, Mark Pan Pankratz. Almost mispronounced your name. Thanks for being here, Mark. Thanks. Uh, guys, Tennessee loses last night. Uh, by the way, uh, I'm going to talk in the next segment a little bit about coaching changes on the football staff, so hang around for that. Um, Vols fall 83-70 last night at Florida. I don't think it's a surprise you lose at the number 24 team in the country. They fought hard. They played well. It's a gritty, gutty team. They put up an effort. You pull for them. You like it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But they lost again. Um, turned the ball over 19 times. Uh, I want to ask you about something Rick Barnes said in the middle of the week in a second, but let's start with the 19 turnovers uh, last night. You're not going to win many games in the SEC, home or road, when you turn the ball over 19 times. No, and, and offensively, you shoot 50% from the field, and, and on the road, you think you're going to be able to come away with a victory. But uh, when you give up 25 points because of turnovers, it, it, it's tough to win a basketball game that way. Uh, there were some exciting things, you know, Admiral Schofield plays really, really well. Yeah, big comeback um, night for him. So but, yeah. but the big thing for me, the turnovers, yes, and, but defensively, and that's where I think this team's made the biggest improvement. The second half, defensively, they shoot 67% from the field. Uh, it, that's what, where it nine, derailed. They hit nine shots in a row at one point, Florida yeah. did, from the field? Yeah, and some turnovers are tough to defend. But others, it was our ball screen defense. It was uh, staying attached to shooters. Uh, Florida's a good team, but our defensive end uh, is what ended up losing us that ball game. Uh, Mike Strange, I'll start with you, and then we'll get back to Mark on this. Um, Rick Barnes said after the North Carolina game, this team needs to want to win more. After the Arkansas game midweek, he said they don't value winning enough. Does this team have a want-to problem, a want-it problem, or is that simply something you say – when you don't have the personnel that you that you need, uh, you know you're a little undermanned, undersized. So I've got to tell them something. By gosh, just want it more. Are you buying that this team doesn't value winning enough, and that's the issue? I, well, I, I don't think it has anything to do with the quality of your personnel. I think other than the fact that it's young, I, I just think he's trying to get this team to mature, to understand what it takes not not just in that 40 minutes but it, like at a shoot around he was unhappy with the their attitude at a shoot around before the arkansas game or it might be a practice just because they're young i don't think they understand what it the just the supreme consistent dedication it takes to you know have a winning edge in, in the sec well, I would say part of it is a talent thing. I think, you know, Kentucky can get away with some of those little things because their length and athleticism and their, their individual talent can make up for uh, some, of the, some of the other things that they're not, uh, details they're not paying attention to. Um, but I think it's more about what happens is because they aren't as talented, it's not want to. Their effort is, is impressive. I agree. Um, it's their focus. And the focus to win is because they don't have the individual effort, they can't miss assignments. They can't over dribble at the end of the game. They can't forget how to run a play. They can't, mo they can't stop moving and get focused in their own individual effort. And that's where it's the learning how to win with the lack of skill and talent as, a, as an overall team. That's what I think he's, he's focused on, not their effort, in, in so to speak. But you, had, I mean, you will admit, though, that when you say they don't value winning enough, if you're talking about they don't focus they aren't focused well, enough. There's an easier way to say that. You say they're not focused enough. When the, you say they don't value winning, that does come across as they don't want to well, win as the, much. The, the, which the, I, that's why I thought it was an odd statement. The, the, the value of winning is because they're not valuing, listening to what the coaches are saying, what it takes to win. Right, and what he's telling it. them is you've got to play together. You've got to do everything in correspondence with the game plan to win. And by them derailing from that and focusing on their own individual thing it's showing the coaches hey look i've got it figured out more than you do and so I, my focus is that as opposed to what you think it takes to win good job guys we'll have you back a little bit later for scouting report on south carolina by the way interesting note uh tennessee now just two and seven on the year when their opponents score 69 or more they are five and oh when their opponents score 60 or less two and seven when they Defense. score when they score 69 or more um up next Tennessee football, the coaching staff, who's going, who could go, who might come if somebody goes, all that stuff. Plus, I'll tell you what I was told in terms of what was the big mistake, what backfired on Butch Jones more than anything else. It wasn't culture from what I was told. 
I'll tell you what it was. Going back on the sports horse.